Good morning. I was up pretty late last night trying to fix the water heater. I'm preparing because Sam is going to join me at, uh, in a few weeks. And I haven't really traveled with anyone else since I've been solo, so there's a lot of like bachelor things I've done to the van or not done. You know, I haven't fixed the water heater. The furnace issues are still cropping up. Um, like the finishing the insulation completely, stuff like that. That like, you know, when there's two of you, you're like, the other person's like, what the, f why isn't this working? You're like, uh, but when it's just you, you just let it slide. <laughs> Oh god, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're gonna try to make it to California today. What do you think about that, champ? He's like, I will not get excited for anywhere other than walk. Oh, so awake all of a sudden. So awake. This is not a smooth road. It's a bit easier now that I can actually see everything. Cause last night I came in, it was a little dark and even with the headlights, I had a hard time seeing some of these bumps and I'm doing a bit better today, taking it slower, but wow. It's the rocks, man. They're throwing this thing everywhere. Oh, 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 oh my god. She's ah! champ's all nervous. Champ is okay. It's okay, buddy. You'll be okay. <laughs> Woo! Alright, made it through that tough bit. Uh should be good from here on in, hopefully. I gotta check and make sure the motorbike is still fully fastened on the back because I definitely dragged that thing for a good while today. Still mostly attached. Looks good. Oh, tighten that up a bit. There we go. That's the whole time where I got the rack. Uh, if you missed the episode, I bought this one at Princess Auto, which is like a Canadian company. It was $99 Canadian, worth every penny. It's fantastic. But don't get the aluminum one, because the aluminum one kind of sucks. Champs become a lot more affectionate to me while we're on the road. Uh, mainly, I think it's because of the solo travel. I think it's because I'm the only one here. He suddenly feels like he needs to be uh, closer to me.
Welcome to Death Valley, one of the lowest and hottest places on Earth. But today it's actually really nice, so uh, I'm gonna have some lunch here and we're gonna explore the park. And Champ is just like over the moon. What's that thumping noise? What is it? Why are you so excited? Jesus. A little Greek salad, Swiss cheese, chickpeas, carrots, lettuce, tossed in a scout bowl. Yeah, nice little salad. So I was just told by the park ranger who came by, um, told me I had to keep the dog on a leash inside the car. <laughs> So like I'm in the RV and she's like, yeah, yeah, you gotta be on the leash. I'm like, he's inside my van, my RV. And he's just like, yeah, he's gotta be on a leash. I'm like, okay, sure. So he's on a leash, sitting in his bed now. If you go to Canada sometime, go to a national park, meet some of the people there, some of our park rangers or our RCMP officers or any of that, meet one, talk to them, see what they're like. I guarantee you, you'll notice a difference. This dog's really good, by the way. See, it would be kind of a surreal place, but nothing but jets passing overhead, and it's super loud here. I don't know what it is, it's like echoing off the canyon walls, but it's so loud. It's all you can hear. It's crazy. drove for a little while and then uh, I saw something off the side of the highway, uh, something something BLM dunes off-roading vehicle area and I thought that's exactly what I need. Some big ass dunes. Anyway, it, it, apparently it's really specific to just like off-roading vehicles. It's a very off-roading vehicle racing vehicle kind of area but you can still camp here so I'm going to camp and um, Look around, this place is supposed to be pack in and pack out, and it is disgusting. People, garbage, everywhere. So uh, I'll be doing a little bit of a cleanup of this campsite. I picked the dirtiest one I could find and uh, clean it all up. A lot of monster energy drinks. Don't mean to draw stereotypes, guys, but get it together.
All right, cool. I'm gonna clean this place up. I'm gonna set up camp, roll the bike off, and make some dinner. Maybe I'll ride a bit before the sun sets. Maybe just a bit. All right, for dinner tonight, I'm having chicken Alfredo penne. Um, and I'm using Alfredo just out of a jar, nothing special, not making it by uh, hand or anything. I've already boiled up the noodles, I've got them to al dente, they're ready to go. Now the uh, chicken's just gone into the same pan, I just pulled the noodles out, dried it out, put some oil on, put the chicken in, and season it with a little salt, a little chili. I'm gonna add onions, let them caramelize a little bit, and add uh, jalapeno peppers, just for a little kick. Um, and then some tomato to just, just to kind of offset the uh, strong garlic tones of the of all that cheese so And then uh, I'll add the sauce in mix it all up add the noodles in last minute toss it around a little bit and voila zine pre. It's probably important to also note that when you're separating your meal out into two sections Maybe you need to half it on each section. I now have a massive double portion oops Oh well, I'm sure Champ will be happy to help me. He looks happy. Well, that's it. Dinner was amazing, and I'm just gonna chill out here and do some editing. And then maybe I think I'm gonna watch some uh, X-Files, because I love watching X-Files when I'm wild camped in the middle of the desert. It's just something x filey about it. Anyway, that's it for me tonight. Uh, catch some of those stars, and tomorrow some of those dune waves. I'm very excited. <laughs> Good night.